Hi and welcome back to another AutoWay video. I'm Lee and in today's video we've got a Peugeot Boxster 2014. Customer has got a manual key and they want a remote key added. So I've got my AutoWay remote key ready. It's an AUT RK0116. I've already cut the blade so it's ready to be programmed. So in today's video we've got the Lonsdor K518 ISE model. And we're going to be using this to program the key so let's look at our main menu and go through our selections so we're going to select Imo we're going to select Peugeot so select VOM vehicle we're going to go down and we're going to go to Peugeot Boxer we're going to select Immobilizer so here we've got our options. So we've got key info, program key, read pin code, make dealer key. I've already read the pin code. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna have that available to type in. I will do another video showing how to read the pin code on a um, Fiat Peugeot system. But for the instance of this video, we've already got the pin code. So I'm just gonna jump to make dealer key. So make dealer key. So this function can generate a key to be programmed. So in this instance, we've got our blank auto wave key and we need to pre-code it to make it into a dealer key. So I'm gonna press okay. So please use the, a working key to turn the ignition on. So I'm gonna use my original customer's key, I'm gonna turn my ignition on and then I'm gonna press okay. So I've got my four options. So I've got my 7936 chip key. So if I was making a spare key and it was just a manual key, for instance, it'd be a 7936 chip because that'd be the actual transponder chip. In the case of a remote, because the chip's on board, it'd be a 7946 chip. So I've got my options here. So I'm not gonna pick 7936 because it's a remote. I've got eight pin or 10 pin, 16 pin. In this occasion, I don't actually know. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick the first one, eight pin, and we'll give it a try. If it wasn't to work, all I would do is the car would probably start and say the remote won't work or something like that. So all I'd do is I'd go to key unlocking, I'd put my key in the slot, unlock my key, and I can just start again and I will try my next one. So let's try eight pin. So we'll press okay. So please put key into the device card slot. So I'm just gonna place the key into the card slot there. Press okay. So it's giving me the current valid ID of the key. Press OK. And now it's succeeded to generate. So now this key's been pre-coded, it's a dealer key. So our next step now is just to program this into the vehicle. So I'm gonna press program key. So the working keys in use also need to be programmed. So it's very important on like the Fiat Peugeot system, well, it's basically the Fiat system that Peugeot use, that you add the original keys in first before you add in the aftermarket key. So we'll press okay and we'll show you the process. So insert the key to be programmed to turn on ignition. So I'm gonna put in my original customer's key in first and turn my ignition on and press okay. So there's my pin code. So I've got my pin code in. I'm gonna press OK. So program complete. Continue to program next key. So I'm gonna press OK. So what I like to do personally is I put the original key back in again for a second time just to verify that I've actually got it programmed in. So if I press OK, it will say this key is programmed. Please replace it. So I'm gonna take it out and I'm gonna put my auto wave key in. Then I'm gonna press OK. Please insert the key to be programmed turning ignition on. So I've got my new auto blank key in. I'm gonna press OK. Program complete. Continue to program next key. I haven't got no more keys to co program now, so I'm gonna press cancel. And that's it, program complete. So now we'll just try the key in the ignition, see if the van starts. And that's it. So that's basically the process of programming in a Peugeot Fiat style remote. Thanks for watching the video. If you've got any questions, please drop us a comment and we'll be sure to get back to you.